Hello and welcome along and welcome back to the Valley of the Old Farm and this is what is left of our soybeans. Yep, the entire crop has failed and it's not just in this field either. Field 61, uh, so our two fields have completely failed. That is not great, to be honest. Uh, that is going to be a bit of a setback. Our wheat is still growing. Uh, it's It's got a while to go yet, but uh, yeah. We have lost all the soybeans. Not a good start today, uh, to be honest. But we have got to carry on. We've got to continue uh, and keep going. Uh, and in order to do that, the first thing we're going to do today is, uh, is actually jump back out of this tractor. Because I need to go and clean our chickens out before we give them some extra food. They're getting a little bit low. Our cows are doing okay at the moment. Uh, and what, we, uh, what we're really going to have to do is step up with doing more of the contracts. Now, we do have Field 52, as I predicted last time. Field 52 has come up, and I think we might pick that up uh, with a lease and get that leased so that we can get that harvested. But before we can do that, we're going to have to get the contracts that we have in progress finished. So that's what we're doing today. We're going to sort out our chickens, get them fed, uh, and we're then going to pick up field 52 once we've completed the remaining contract we have from last time all in all it's a little bit of a mess here at the moment this has not gone anywhere near how i would like to have seen it go uh, we're probably going to replant these two fields that failed fairly quickly uh, with some wheat uh, although if we've got if we get field 52 uh, I think we'll probably extend that into this patch here and see what we can do there. We need to get some actual feed first. So let's fill this up. And yeah, I'm, uh, I'd am i be lying if I said I wasn't a little disappointed that, uh, that our entire crop of soybeans has failed. 12,000 litres. Quite how we've ended up with 12,000 litres of wheat in here. I don't know, but we do have it, and we're okay to uh, to keep our chickens going for now. I think we might have started with some uh, some crop in our store already. How are our chickens after that? A little bit more. They don't take very much. Let's check them again. No. Another three. Oh, no, there we go. Now they've got enough. There we are. So we'll go and put the rest of this back in. And the rain has stopped. Not that it's going to help us too much. I really, really need to get some crop in. Field 52 will give us a whole load of crop if we can get it. But the ground and everything is so wet at the moment. We're going to need a very good run of drying in order to actually do anything. And we've had so much rain, I will be amazed if we have enough time to dry stuff uh, in order to actually get a harvest started. Either of the contract that we currently have or of this. So, what you can see here is it looks like our contract has also ended. This is, this is not good at all. Yep. We have no contracting equipment. And if we look in here, we've still got the harvesting contract, but our contract on here is completely failed. It's all gone horribly, horribly wrong. So we own all these bales. We have all of these grass bales. We're going to have to hire something to get these back try and well try and salvage something from this i think so uh, i'm gonna head up to the shop i think we'll have to rent an auto stacker and uh and maybe get these back to our farm 
So I've decided against making a bad situation worse. And what we're going to do is we're going to get this tractor uh, going and cultivating the uh, cultivating our bigger field, field 61. So that has completely failed. Uh, we might as well get it cultivated and ready for the next year's crop. And we're going to go and put wheat in there uh, as per our... Uh, oh, there we go. Well, we've got a choice. We can either put wheat or we can put canola. I am very tempted to put canola in. We have a small window to uh, to actually get it planted. Uh, so, yeah, why not get canola in there now? Then next year we can plant wheat. And then the next year we should be able to plant soybeans. But it... Or, or yeah, it's... It's very tight for everything on this geo. So we're going to go and get this going and get this planted with... Uh, or get this planted with um, wheat and uh, and do that. I think we might have to have a good look at what we have in our rotation. Because it's very difficult to get a good rotation going on here, I think. Um, but we're going we're gonna to get this going with this. And head down to this field with this one. I know this... Uh, does this fold up? It does fold up. Uh, I don't need to fold it up though. To be honest, we're gonna we're gonna get back down to this field here. But yes, for all of our, it's not been a good start today, really. So we're gonna get this going here, and I want it to finish at this point. Uh, we're gonna be going clockwise around the field. So let's get that there. Generate sixty-one. Uh, starting direction, we're going to go longest edge. No, I'm going to go 270. There we go. Headland. Uh, I want to do at least three headlands. I want to go clockwise, up, downs, turn in the corners, headland overlap. Oh, wow. That is a new feature. The uh, amount we overlap on the headlands. That's pretty cool. Uh, field center. Now, the other one that we got... And we've got lands, number of roads. That's pretty cool as well. That we hopefully will get to when we do the... Uh, when we're doing harvesting, I think. Uh, but this should do us pretty well. So generate me a field course. Finishing up here. Starting here as well. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, so I have updated to the latest version of course play. And the latest version of course play looks pretty cool, to be honest. Looks like it's uh, going to work really, really well. So we'll start here and drive course. You should not be turning. Don't turn. There we go. Nope. We'll go first waypoint then because it's obviously uh, got the overlap. Back off a little bit and drive course. I think this has got on it an offset, if I can find it. Yeah, there we go. Calculate my offset. There we are. And drive course. Perfect. So with this doing this, what we can do is head over to here, drop off this uh, and we're going to go and need to get both our flatbed trailer and our bale spike from the Warzy. And we're going to go up to that field where the contract has failed and grab those bales. Because those bales will feed our cows for quite a long while. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that is what I'm going to do with that. Make the best of a bad situation. Uh, get those bales in and do that. Uh, we can't, I want to get, now how much is a Wopster? Because we do need, really, we kind of need one of those. So, Misk, to get a Wopster is, if I can find it, there it is, 5,000. I kind of need it at this point, because we need to, uh, 
We need to find out how long before this crop is ready. And hopefully we can afford to get the field as well. So buy me that. Okay. And we can now check on how this barley is doing. Look at that moisture content. 45%. We could end up borrowing this field, leasing this field, and never being able to harvest it. 45% is absolutely crazy. There is, there is no way. It would take a massive amount of drying in order to get that, to sort, that sorted. So I don't quite know what we're going to do about this at the moment. We have way, way too much moisture in any crop to harvest it. Uh, we, 45% is one of the highest levels I have ever seen in harvestable crops in farm sim uh, with seasons. It's just madly large that. Uh, let's pull this trailer out of here. Yeah, this is probably going to take a couple of trips with this to get this done. But we do need to get these. These bales basically are the only thing that's going to save us uh, with this contract. We lost, 20, well, we didn't lose, well, we lost a little bit of money because we rented, I think we lost like 900 pounds, or 900 euros, sorry, trying to do this contract. Uh, as it is, we should be all right. We, we can get the bales from it. Uh, and then we might have to try and pick up another contract. We do have a harvesting contract. We are not going to be able to uh, to do that at the moment either. Um, it is, uh, the, as I said, the crops are way too wet. I kind of need to pick up the field of barley before it gets harvested. So uh, I think we might lease that and, uh, and go from there. But we'll put these here. Yeah, and we're going to have a lot of silage bales to get into here as well. So I'm going to hook this back up and we're going to head up to the field. And we're going to go and get ourselves some silage bales that we have left over from a contract. Here we are up at field 88. And uh, yeah, I'm, I don't think... I think we worked out we got like 25 bales off here uh, before this uh, before we had the contract fail. So what we're going to do is pop into here and try and stack as many of these on this trailer as we can. Because this is the thing, despite the fact that we failed the... Uh, you can't fail contracts in farm sim and yet you can they do disappear and this is this is the weird thing touch the hose just put that down so i'm going to try and stack these three high and we'll see if this works and then see if we can get them back three high we need well, six would uh, would get us eighteen. So there we go. And these, of course, are still all grass bales, so we can't sell these at the moment. We just got to get them stacked up and back to ours so that they can ferment at our farm and then hopefully be useful to us so let's and this is not this is not a very big bale spike either is the other thing to remember there we go that's two Oh, we might even be able to get four on a stack here. It all depends on uh, how it affects our tractor. And whether we can keep stable with uh, uh, this bale spike. 
a stack of four. Any way I look at this, this is not this is not great. Right, there's three. Can we stack a fourth one on here? And still control this. Wow. Okay. If we do get this on, I'm immediately strapping this down. Yeah, look at that. Oh, no, that is not going to work. I think if we do piles of two, though, we might be better off. So do two and two, and uh, and then stack on top of those twos. Oh, but we need to get this to work well. So we'll we'll work out how we're going to do this. Uh, and then I will go and get them stacked. And we'll see how we do. So we'll start getting a couple on the back. Because, yeah, I think we're going to be limited to about 16. Maybe 20 if we're lucky. There we go, that's the first set on. Let's get the second set on and uh, and keep stacking, I think. This is gonna be our best way to do it. So last two bales I'm picking up now and we're just gonna slot these onto the back of our trailer. Uh, we've managed to get 20 bales on here, which is brilliant. We've still got 1, 2, 3, uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So there's still at least half a trailer fools uh, worth here uh, to, to, to come and get again. So we, we've hit 31 bales on this field, which is really good. Uh, I'm really pleased with that. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it's getting them all back. That's that's going to be the trick. Um, on the auto stacker, deciding not to go with the auto stacker seems to have been the better choice. Uh, we only need to do two trips to get all these back. Although, with the way everything else is going today, uh, it's quite possible that the thumbnail for this might be us falling over. So, we'll see. Uh, you guys will know that before I do, obviously. Uh, so let's uh, let's hook this back up, get this back to our farm. Uh, we might need to come and grab our other tractor on this because there's not a, a huge amount of power in this 30, uh, 3080. So, yeah, it might struggle to get this many bales back. Um, but let's see if we can get this many bales back and how successful it is. Well, we seem to have made it back just about in one piece. Uh, our bales are straining under our belts. Wow, that has become a little bit of a disorganized mess. Uh, it has been known before to sort of move back, but I don't know if that's going to happen with this at the moment. That is, That looks like it's going to explode. Uh, right. That's not good, but at the same time, maybe it'll uh, maybe it'll pop back. Uh, <laughs> I don't know though. Sometimes it does. It would be good if it did. Maybe it might when we stop. That uh, that tends to be quite often when it does. Uh, now, where am I going to put these bales? I think we probably want these bales up the top. Um, we could put them in the hayloft. Can we get them? through here. Yeah, let's go through here with them. Should really have come in the other entrance to the farm, but we're okay. We're through here, and they seem to have uh, yeah, worked their way back a bit. Now, this is, this is the thing with this tractor. Not a huge amount of horsepower, but we can get through here. And I am fully expecting to untie these and have them just go everywhere. So, we'll see what happens. Now, I want to put it somewhere where we can easily unload. 
That is probably going to be... Actually, do you know what? We have an entire field of failed crop here. Let's put this to use. Let's give ourselves a good area in which we can unload this trailer. Because, uh, yeah, really annoying that we lost all these soybeans. And yeah, they've stopped moving about, which is good news. Right, so let's take off these back ones so that we know that we can get those off. And they're all going to come off two at a time. Now, there is one thing that I've discovered with this uh, Warzy. It has a little bit of a bump on the front of its, uh, at the top of its uh, spike. Which means that it's not a great uh, bale spike for doing two bales with. You end up pushing the front bale out all the time. What I want to do is have a look before the end of this and see where we are uh, with the water level on here. We are expecting rain again later. I'm going to put all of these in here. We should be able to do... Ah, oh, we can do these stacked side by side. Perfect. Um, but yeah, we should, we should be able to check out the water level later, which would be good. Uh, see what the moisture content is in this barley. Uh, I think we want to grab field 52 before it gets harvested. It is just how quickly field 52 will dry out for us to be able to harvest. Uh, the size of it means we would get a really good harvest off it. But we need to actually be able to get the crop off it in order to do it. Uh, and if we can do that, we'll be in a really, really good position. Uh going forwards because then these two smaller fields of failed crop won't matter so much. Uh, we'll be able to, to work our way past it. So that into there. Yeah. 30 odd silage bales will keep us going in uh, cow feed certainly through to the beginning of the next year which is good news. Uh, we just need to get, uh, really we need some hay. We've got to cut some grass and get some hay. And that's that's what we're missing at the moment. If we get field 52 though, we'll also pick up field 91 at the same time. And as a result, we'll have a grass field that we can get some hay off. Again, it's just having enough time for that hay to dry for us to actually make something of. There we go. I think we're going to be picking up those other 11 bales. Probably next day as well. It's now half four in the afternoon here. And uh, and yeah, we, we are running out of time to get those collected. Right, let's undo the last two straps. If we can get the if we can get the wheat back in field 61 today, that would be good. Uh, I don't think we're going to. I think that's going to be uh, we're going to send that tractor off doing that next time. Get that uh, get that planting the wheat in there. Uh, but giving it near enough a year to grow means that we should be able to to have a window of opportunity to make money off that next year. I am really sad that entire fields, two entire fields of soybeans have failed. We did plant them really late. I and mean, last possible day we could plant them, we planted them. And I'm thinking that's why they failed. Um, we want to get, uh, we want to get next year's in nice and early. Which they should follow after the barley, I think. Normally they'd follow after the canola if we can get everything to uh, to do. But the trouble with the canola is the canola itself has such a small planting window. That that, that causes us an issue. And it may be that we have to, to look at a different crop to canola in there. Because, yeah, we're just, we're just not able to get it in. Uh, 
right, and that down. This geo may limit our crops a bit more as well. Okay. Sometimes you get it that you have to disconnect and reconnect your bale spike in order to get it to come out of your stack of bales. Now, I think we could actually go a stack higher, maybe. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to get the rest of these bales off, and we'll see where we are at that point. Last two bales to get, and we'll just slot them to there. So 30, 30 bales are going to keep us going for a long while. Uh, really, really cool. Uh, obviously not cool that we didn't get the 24,000 for the contract, but cool that we, we have a really good supply of... Uh, of bales that actually has cost us so it's cost us about a thousand euros to uh, to get 30 odd silage bales not bad at all um that's that's not a bad trade-off uh so that's uh, that's yeah less than we would have uh, less than it would have cost us losing that contract Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna have to go back up to the field next time and uh, and get the remaining ones. Uh, let's just check how much this uh, how much moisture is still in this field. Oh wow, it's down to 21 percent. That's amazing. That's a huge drop in moisture today. So we are going to lease this field. Uh, so we're going to lease field uh, 52. So into the global company menu, uh, we want field leasing, which is this one. 52 is the one. So we want to check. I want to check a difference here. So 91, I think, is a slightly smaller field. So 52 to lease that. Would be ten thousand uh, to lease ninety one. Would be ten thousand. Okay, so we do need to borrow a little bit of cash to do this. So uh, let's do that, and we want to borrow ten thousand. There we go, and then we can lease this, and we'll get this before. The actual crop disappears. So lease 52, 10,700. Yes. There we go. So this is now our field. And it has a moisture content of 20%. We are going to be harvesting into the night next time. So we're not going to move on the next day. We have a window of opportunity Weather is, yeah, weather is good. So we're going to be harvesting this field next time. Uh, I will see you for that. For now, though, all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And for all the latest videos from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.